Hi guys, I took apart my cordless drill the other night and ended up having to take the motor apart because the motor was uh, broken inside, the commutator was coming apart. I've decided I'm not going to attempt to repair my cordless drill. A replacement motor is not far off the price of a new cordless drill anyway and the modern ones are lithium-ion batteries instead of the old NICAD batteries. So, I've bought myself a new cordless drill. The old one, the motor was faulty, so we're getting rid of that, but it does occur to me that if I put this shell back together, we've got a variable resistor in there to control the speed and we got a reversing switch which is that so I'm thinking of putting this back together extending these wires that would go to the motor and just have them hanging out the front on a pair of crocodile clips or maybe a little electrician connector block block that might be safer and then I can use that to power anything I like with 18 volts. It'll look a bit odd, but it'll do the job. So that's what I'm going to do. What we're going to do is desolder the wires from the old motor housing. Ideally, I'd just replace the wires all the way into the switch, but the terminations in the switch are single use. I can't take them apart and reuse them. Not without completely disassembling the switch anyway. So what we're going to do is desolder the existing wires, solder on some nice longer wires and on the other end put this electrical connection block that will just hang out of the housing and I can connect whatever I like to it. So we'll desolder these having to use my slightly bigger soldering iron because it needs a bit more power. There we go. Tin this one. down. Deal with that in a minute. This one ready.
Okay, that's that bit done. So I'm going to tie them back here somehow, just so that if I pull on the wires, I'm not pulling directly on the switch. two or three cable ties to get that right. There we are. So wires are held in with a few cable straps at the back there, or cable ties. Had a bit of um, sheathing there that I've put over them just to keep the wires together. And then we got the connector on the end of it. So I can screw all this back together. I get it through the hole right. There we go. So we got variable speed and forwards and backwards. Put all the screws back in now. Quick demonstration. I've just wired my meter straight into the connector. Obviously we've got no load involved here so it's not a true representation but at least we can see that the switch works. And if we reverse it, we get minus. And that battery is obviously fully charged because that's showing over 19 volts. Yeah. All I've got to do now is find something to use it for. I've had a quick look in my box to see what electric motors I can come up with. This one doesn't have a, a voltage written on it. It's probably one of my hair dryer motors, looking at the size of it. Yeah, that works all right. I don't know if we can hear it. You can certainly hear the speed change. Reverse it. So there we go. That's what I can use it for. Job done.